what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel i'm out here with ethan who has a severe gambling problem online and because of which he won himself a dog that's located in phoenix arizona so we are hopping in the gr corolla and we are doing a 2400 mile round trip out there in the next 34 hours this is gonna be fun all right so it's currently 401 a.m in the morning the car has 7479 miles on it and we have a full tank of gas that says it'll take us 255 miles uh, right now it's looking like the destination is 16 hours and 10 minutes away and uh we're gonna get going car's in good condition i think i'm very much ready ethan is wide awake for once this early in the morning so that's very good so let's get at it The original. the original dang you're trying to kill me so right now we are just on the outskirts of san antonio we're about three hours into the drive it says our time now should be arriving at 602 so we knocked about eight minutes off it was like 10 15 minutes but ethan's been taking way too long on his bathroom breaks uh, but we should be uh, back on the road here in a second he's taking over the way we're going to be doing this drive is every time we stop to get gas, we're going to switch unless one of us feels extra tired for some reason. Uh, the sun is finally up, which is good. I'm not a big fan of night driving. I can do it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, we got uh, what does it say? 55 miles until empty, probably until you start moving, I guess. It'll refresh it. Mm -hmm. but, it's full though. No, okay. So we got a full tank of gas. It costs us about 40 bucks to fill it up. So far, the ride is pretty comfortable. My only problem is in these seats, like my butt started to get a little sore, so I had to keep pushing myself back. Uh, and there's not a lot of lumbar support for the really long drives, but other than that, I mean, we've been cruising and it's been doing great. Three hours of driving, um, and we were still at a quarter tank of gas, so we really didn't even need to fill up. And Ethan, for some reason, is still just sitting here like he doesn't want to drive, so it is what it is. But uh, we're gonna hit the road and see what the next uh, 949 miles has to give us. just hit a bump back there on the road. Nothing major, not anything that's gonna break the car, but all of a sudden the thing just disconnected. Sometimes this will happen randomly too. And this, we don't know how to get it to reconnect and we'll mess with the settings. It won't reconnect anything whatsoever. It'll act like uh, everything is connected, but nothing will play. And then all of a sudden it'll just randomly connect for no reason whatsoever. So that's, uh, that's not great. But right now, we still got just about 11 hours to go until we get to our destination. Where we live at in Houston, it is about, I want to say, 10 or 11 hours from us to the border where El Paso is. Uh, so the majority of this trip is going to be Texas. New Mexico is going to seem like a breeze and the next thing you know, we're in Arizona and then we turn around and we head straight back. So far, for me, the phone has been working connected to the maps. 
other than that, we're just cruising. Hopefully we'll hit um, El Paso right around one o'clock, maybe get something to eat real quick. We're way ahead of schedule. Right now it's saying that we will get there about 5.30. If you guys remember when we first took off, I think it said we would get there at like 6.10 or 6.15. Uh, we don't know where we've been making up that time because we've both been going the speed limit. Both of us. Huh? Yeah, it is. Want to go over there in the weeds and look around for a little bit? So, so we're gonna stop and get something to eat real quick. So far the car has been holding up pretty good. Haven't had any issues outside of sound. It's covered in freaking bugs. And then we got this guy here taking a sweet time. Like we ain't on a schedule. How's that sandwich? I'm hungry. We just made it to New Mexico. Is it as cool as old Mexico or is it just Yeah, awesome cool <laughs> So we've come this far we've been in this car for what 10 11 hours this trip is supposed to take 16 hours for the remainder of our trip We have five hours left. We are just now leaving Texas. That means we're gonna cover two more states in five hours that's insane texas is huge not enough room for anybody else to move here so please stop coming here but uh we're gonna continue on with the trek ethan is gonna be behind the wheel he's gonna be playing dj we're gonna fall asleep because of that but you know it is what it is what do you think of the car so far on this long ride um it's a lot better on gas than i thought it would be what do you what, what do you think of like the ride itself? Um, it's very, it's smooth whenever you're up to speed, when you can just sit in six gear and then you don't have to worry about it. Cause the way that the gearing is, you don't really have to shift at all. Whenever you're going, just matching speeds with everybody else. And like switching lanes is really easy. It doesn't, it's not hopping around everywhere. It's small and it feels like a lot faster than I feel that it is. There's a fly in here. Shoe fly, shoe fly. You're yeah, not yeah. going back to Texas with us. It's, uh, it's pretty quick, it's easy. Yep. I I just wish the seats were a little bit more comfortable on these really long rides. That's I just me. I think it's me. harder for you because you're like a bigger person. Yeah. You're tall and stuff. So, oh well, we'll continue on. Hit it. Just made it into Arizona. Missed the sign for you guys because somebody didn't tell me about it. Whatever. But we went ahead, we stopped off because somebody had a potty. Was it was you. me. It was me. I had to pee really, really bad. So we only got three hours left until we get to Ethan's gambling dog. Uh, it only took us two hours, two and a half hours to get through New Mexico. So yeah. Texas is just such a large freaking state. Uh, it's really pretty out here for the most part. Nothing for miles, but it's pretty. Car's been doing great. We got everything set up back here for the animal right now. There's plenty of room in this vehicle. Uh, I mean, not, not like there is in the F-150 or an SUV, but for a small little hatchback, it's not bad, right? Yeah, no, it's very spacious. Like, I don't feel cramped at all. Yeah, if this was the Mustang, I'd feel like it was a little tighter in here for us. Um, it's, we have plenty of room in here. It's comfortable for the most part. I will say it's a lot more comfortable dropping the seat and sleeping than it is sitting here for three hours at a time driving, in my opinion. Our destination and we have the package 
turned around and we're headed back to Texas. We got here at six o'clock, picked up the dog back in the car by 6.30. Right now it's looking like we should be home around 1 p.m. in the afternoon if we're able to make the same kind of time that we did getting here. So far, so good. Everything's great. Uh, as you can see, the Corolla has enough room in the back with the seats laid down for a full-size dog. We didn't take down the uh, little cover that you have there in the back of the hatch, which we probably should have. That would have given him more room. But other than that, um, yeah, onwards to Texas. So if you look here, you can see that we're averaging right now 23.9 miles per gallon. I know the car can do more, but we've been going at a brisk legal pace so uh, that's probably why it's sitting there 23.9 I think I've seen it get into the 24s before with us um, but we haven't been monitoring it the whole ride and we didn't reset it for just this trip so this is a cumulative of all of the drives we've done since we've had the car but still 23.9 miles per gallon isn't bad for this thing the other thing a lot of people talk about with this car is the diffs and whatnot now granted we are not driving this hard like we do on the track but um, we have had no issues with this car whatsoever since we got it. Not with the diff overheating, nothing. We did have an, one time where the car got a little bit too hot when we were rally crossing. That day it was like 105 outside. But the problem was we were doing lap after lap after lap. And then when I brought it in, I immediately turned it off, which is a big no-no. Um, I, I should have sat there, let it cool off, left it running like I do now or like I do with the Mustang and we would have been fine. As you can see, uh, Dallas is having a lot of fun here in the GR Corolla. So it's dog approved as well. Well, that does it for this video. Uh, the car actually did really well uh, outside of, like I said, the road noise, the lack of comfort from these seats during a long period of time, which only affected me. Ethan, who is, I believe, about 5'4", 155, he was fine within these seats. Myself at 6'1", and 220, it was a little bit uncomfortable. Gas mileage was fantastic. I would say maybe between there and back, 300 bucks, maybe? Gas prices varied. Anything outside of Texas was over four, uh, $4 a gallon. Anything out in Texas was under four slightly. So we were seeing anywhere between 35 to $46 for a full tank. And I think we stopped um, every three hours and it was a 17 hour or 16 hour. So that was like what, four or five times there and back. So it wasn't too bad. My math is horrible. So I know that now is over uh, 300 bucks. Had I taken the F-150 Raptor, definitely would have been a lot more. We would have probably been looking at closer to a thousand. So not too bad. If you're looking at this car for a daily commuter, great. If you're looking at this for a long haul, if you're a smaller person, fantastic. If you're looking at this thing to use it as a race car, it freaking rips. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Give my channel a subscription and make sure to hit those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else. And comment down below if there's anything else you want to see me do with this car outside of race it and drive it. Uh, I would assume that just leaves us with modifications, which could be coming up sooner than we thought. All right, until the next one, peace.